kind of wanted to ask you guys what you think about this trend that Amber Rose has started. She started this collection of clothing and it's called Slut Walk. Have you guys, have you guys heard of Slut Walk? Okay, so Samantha says she's heard of it. Um, Slut Walk is Amber Rose's way of saying that she's reclaiming and redefining what a slut is. People claim that she's a slut because she twerks with her booty out on Instagram. She takes naked pictures and posts them. She does all that. But what she's trying to say is that doesn't mean that she's a slut. And calling her a slut is not going to hurt her because she's reclaimed the word slut. And since she's embracing it, it can't be used as a slur or as a way to harm her or to hurt her. Um, what do you guys think about walking around with Amber Rose's clothes? Like she has a handbag that says slut on it. She has shorts that say thought across the butt. She has a shirt that says hashtag slut or something like that across it. What do you guys think about reclaiming or redefining what a slut is? No, thank you. No, mm -mm. no, thank no. you. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty clear cut. Absolutely not. That no, was pretty clear not. cut. No. I was about to address that. I do not I twerk. Was... Oh, hell. I no. do not twerk. Unless it is under the dim lights of a club. And there are no video cameras involved. I do not twerk for attention. I twerk because my body looks fabulous. When I twerk. Okay, see that's so. a good that's a good comment. Like I don't twerk for attention. So you feel like a slut would twerk for attention. That yeah, because, is defining her as a slut, yeah, actually. It's, it's like when you're a slut, you kinda like you own that. And it, it's a shame when a woman can't be sexually expressive. Exactly, and, and that's and her not point. Be shamed for it, right? But I don't think calling yourself a slut is the solution right. to that problem. Right. Because just because you right. are sexually progressive does not mean that you're a slut. But if you're taking that sexual progressive and flaunting it in front of the world, knowing the se the connotation that it's going to have, and knowing that it's not accepted and it's taboo but you want that attention and you're seeking that attention and then you're a slut because you are an attention whore. Hmm. So attention whore. Because there's plenty of women who mm -hmm. get it in and do what they're do right. and satisfy Behind closed needs, doors. Behind closed doors. And it's not the, in the forefront of their identity. It doesn't have to be your identity just because you're promiscuous. There's nothing wrong with getting yours in, but having it displayed for the world. Because there's other, other celebrities that tell you those people that are always in tabloids and always in the forefront, they seek that. Mm -hmm. There's a part of them that wants to be in the spotlight. Right. Because there's plenty of people that are very famous and very gorgeous and have all those and have a sexual for days identity. And have se like Nia Long. You never see Nia Long called a slut. And I bet you Nia Long be getting hers because she is fine and fabulous. Yes. But you that's she's not deemed a slut because it's not she her identity. That private. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to have slut written on my butt. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that is redefining what the word slut means because no. she's embracing it's just like it? The N -word. Listen, I. Oh, interesting point. Wait, go ahead and say what you were going to say, but that's an interesting point. I want to get back to that point. I uh, walk a very fine line with uh, the way that I like to dress and what mm -hmm. some people would call promiscuous. So for me, it's a very definitive no <laughs> because mm -hmm. I already, you know, I love a tight and short. And, and see through, see through. <laughs> and like, outfit. outfit I mean that's just my style and and I just yeah no I'm not gonna that's that Caribbean here. that's that St. Thomas yeah. Caribbean <laughs> island gal I'm not gonna coming out broadcast to the world a message that they're just not up to date with I mean I can see if everybody else was on board and it was a movement but it's not I mean it's mm -hmm. yeah, well I, she's trying to make it that she is, she's having yeah, a slut the, walk the, or something I'll like that in 10 years when the word slut has changed but as of now I, the that's most, not the, the way to change it is the public perception and the last thing I want is to be photographed or caught seen I have to live a professional life right you know what I mean some of us so like your your that profession right your profession kind of oh yes kind of stops a certain like only yeah. it can only go so far right. in terms of what you wear how you what act I post on, mm, what on you post social media absolutely yeah. because people so being a career focused person very 
publicly involved with yeah. my clients. No way. I can't have a booty a, shot. Yeah, I can't have mm -mm. A, a picture of me maybe halfway naked and then also say slut across it that some of my clients could, you know, trace back to. No way. I couldn't. How do you feel about it, Kieta? You're a little younger than we are, so how do you feel about slut walk, slut campaign for Amber Rose? I believe, I say no too, mm -hmm. but I also believe that you have to think of the longevity of it. Mm -hmm. You have to think of the, the people that's going to carry this on. It's not going to be our generation. It's going to be the generation after us, so I just think not. Right, you don't think that it's a good message to send to younger girls, right? Mm -hmm. nope. The generation after us, I don't think they should feel empowered by the word slut. Like, I have a six-year-old little girl. I wouldn't want her feeling like, yeah, mommy, I'm a, I'm a slut. I embrace that. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's a good look at all. And she's, you know, she's somebody's mother. You know, she's the mother of a young man. She's raising a boy. And can you imagine what type of message that's sending? You know, and speaking of boys, speaking of men, they have a responsibility. men have a responsibility to look at us in a certain way and that's the way that I'm raising my boys is to look at women as someone to be respected not someone to be disrespected and you're not going to change the definition of a word you might change the way it's socially used um like the word nigger okay in some areas in the black community you might hear black people using the word nigger but personally if you're using it in a way that is socially accepted with your own people or your boys or your homies um that's different you can't use it and try to make a campaign to say that the word nigger is no longer what it means no, it's the connotations of nigger will always be the same. Some now, you meaning. can socially change it in certain surroundings, but you're not going to universally change right. the where, what the word nigger means and the impact that it has on people's psyche. You're not going to change that universally. Now, you might be able to change it amongst black males using it towards their men, their, their boys. You might be able to change it amongst black women talking about their old man or something like that but you're not going to universally change the word nigger and use it across the board in a non same thing with bitch i can say uh -huh. that's my bitch jessica's my bitch we've been friends for years and uh -huh. years and years and if i say really bitch right. it's different from some dude walking down the street and saying bitch like right. no no mm -hmm. you're not going to universally change the meaning of that word mm -hmm. You know, and, and I can understand wanting to have a campaign. Like, Amber Rose, I can understand you saying, like, this is the lifestyle that I choose to lead. But I cannot understand you saying the word slut. You're going to embrace it and change the meaning of it. I, I just don't think it's able to happen. Let me know what you guys think. If you think the word slut can be universally changed across the board in Webster's Dictionary, she can change what slut means. Let me know. Comment down below. I love to hear you guys chime in on this. All right, y'all. Um, we're going to keep talking in the car and keep, you know, having these little conversations while we're out here at Fashion Week. I know that got a little heavy, but um, <laughs> yeah, y'all, we'll be back. All right.